f of x is x square plus 1 by x square minus 1 x not equal to 1 and minus 1 if x is not 1 and minus 1 and equal to 1 if x is 1 or f of 1 equal to f of minus 1 equal to 1 otherwise this works why are we doing this because f of 1 or f of minus 1 the denominator will go to 0 we don't want to have that okay. g of x is x plus 1 by x minus 1 if x is not equal to 1 and 3 if x is equal to 3 so g of 3 sorry if x is equal to 1 should be x equal to 1 g of 1 is equal to 3 g of 1 is 3 otherwise it is that giant expression whatever that is what are the minimum possible value of f of x by g of x? Interesting. f of x by g of x. I'm going to write the expression. x square plus 1 by x square minus 1 divided by x plus 1 by x minus 1 or into x minus 1 by x plus 1. I'm going to say straight away when I'm doing this, I'm not going to worry about x equal to 1 and minus 1. That I'll treat separately. And 1 and minus 1 I'll treat separately. The rest let's simplify. And so, so I'm going to find f of 1 by g of 1 and f of minus 1 by g of minus 1 separately because that doesn't come from this formula. The rest I'm going to simplify and solve. x square minus 1 is x minus 1 and x plus 1. x minus 1 I can cancel because I know I'm not worrying about 1. 1 I'm keeping separately. Ah, this expression becomes x square plus 1 by x plus 1 into x plus 1. I'm writing this as x minus 1 at x plus 1 and cancelling 1 x minus 1. So x square plus 1 by x plus 1 the whole square. That's what this f of x by g of x becomes. And I want to find the minimum possible value of this. Meanwhile, f of 1 by g of 1, what is that equal to? g of 1 is 3, f of 1 is 1. This is 1 by 3 f of minus 1 by g of minus 1 f of minus 1 is also 1 g of minus 1 is minus 1 plus 1 by minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 is 0 1 by 0 this is infinity not defined so that's not my minimum so f of minus 1 by g of minus 1 is infinity that's not my minimum could be my maximum f of 1 by g of 1 is 1 by 3 and got this and this is the other expression I've got and what is the minimum possible value of f of x by g of x we want to find the minimum of this one value I've already got is 1 by 3 so now I look at the choices so x square plus 1 by x plus 1 whole square that cannot be negative and f of x by g of x cannot be negative I've simplified this and where the funny points are 1 and minus 1 I've already resolved them this is not negative so this is out and I've got f of 1 by g of 1 to be 1 by 3 so I don't have to worry about 1 I don't have to worry about 1 by 3 I don't have to worry about 1 by 2 or I'll have to worry about this but I already have it in the bag my minimum is either 1 by 3 or 1 by 4 or that may be unambiguous it's either 1 by 3 or 1 by 4 one of these two is my answer because I've already got a 1 by 3 there I want to find the minimum possible. 1 by 3 I've got it. That's in the bag. So the answer is not half or 1. Answer is not minus 1 because this is positive. Lovely. So what am I going to do? x square plus 1 by x plus 1 whole square equal to 1 by 4. I'm going to solve this. Okay. 4x square plus 4 equals x square plus 2x plus 1. 3x square minus 2x plus 3 equal to 0. In x, the, the value of x that we solve and get for this, okay? whichever value we get, for that value of x, this expression will go to 1 by 4. Therefore, 1 by 4 will be the minimum. When will 1 by 4 not be the minimum? When this has no roots. b square minus 4ac is minus 2 whole square minus 4 into 3 into 3 which is negative. So this has no roots or this can never be 1 by 4. I've already got a 1 by 3. It can never be 1 by 4. Looking back at the choices, it cannot be 1 by 4. I've already got 1 by 3. That's my answer. 1 by 2 and 1 are higher. It can never be minus 1. But my minimum possible value is 1 by 3. A textbook method to find this minimum, to find this, 
what i did i took took this and then i said look i'm going to find the minimum of this completion of squares didn't work none of the obvious version should work i have to equate it to x and then say equate it to k and then say that quadratic has a discriminant greater than or equal to 0 and then solve or differentiate and make it equal to 0 and solve if you do that i did all that and then i got the answer as 1 by 2 and i marked it because i had not bothered to do this the entire question is about saying hey the exception points are 1 and minus 1 find f of 1 by g1 g of 1 f of minus 1 by g of minus 1 look and see those numbers have it at the back then go and investigate the question again this i completely forgot about so i solved it differentiated it did all kinds of stuff and got 1 by 2 i hope i did the math right but then 1 by 2 is wrong because that does not account for this 1 by 3 that 1 by 3 is very much there so keep in mind whenever the definitions are given where the two points are exceptions the three points are exceptions find that compute that keep it at the back see that just keep it aside then worry about the remaining one wonderfully challenging question Hush.